Good morning, Senior 3 from all over Egypt. Welcome to Ministry of Education e-learning English session. Today, we brought you a wonderful form with plenty of questions just made for you. We have with us Mrs. Amani Shawk Said Badawi, Garbia Governorate, Ms. Samar Yahya, Alexandria Governorate, and Ms. Wafa Hassoub, Suha Governorate. Hello, Ms. Amani. Hello, everyone. Hello, my dear students. I'm the happy new year, and they will go. Good luck, inshallah. You're going to have uh, all the best. Uh, thank you, Ms. Wafa, for your introduction. Uh, it's the first session in the new year, dear students, 2022. Hope yes. it's a better and best year for you ever, inshallah. Just write your names first and let's start. Yes, Ms. Amani. Okay, thank you. Now we'll start with number one and we have choices here. Uh, space her stay in Luxor. She met some German tourists. Here uh, she during was when before. Yes, huh? yes, happy new year, Anan. Happy new year, Fredo. Yes, how about Fredo? Us? Happy new year, dear baby. Yes, okay. Uh, what would be the answer? Yes, Zainab, welcome during. Yes, well done. During. Perfect. Well done, Zainab, Anan, and uh, Fredo. Okay, number three, the newspaper that has small pages, a lot of photographs and stories is called, called what? Is it a notebook, essay, article, or a tabloid? It has small pages, lot of paragraphs and stories in it. So we call it what? Yes, Ms. Amani, do we have an answer? Yes, go on, yeah. Yes, Zainab, uh, we have the start here. Tibidad, yes, uh, the last answer, yes, well done. Yes. So they said, said what? The last one, Tibla. Perfect, it's perfect. Well done, well done. So Zainab, you're number one today. Sorry. Uh, uh, we have also Anan, yes, well done, Anan. Number four, an international team has been set up to these recent UN recommendations. Here, implement, avoid, detect, prevent. Think. Prevent. I don't think it's an one. Yes, sir. Okay, so we're done. This is number six. Yes, For this one, about number four. Yes, to that. What do you think? They are going to avoid. Um, Prevent and uh, something important. An international team has been set up for what? For yes, it would be implement. Perfect. We start it. We have to uh, see what it or apply it. So we have to do it. Yes. Sir. Okay. Number five. The living room space all yesterday morning. So had cleaned was being cleaned, was cleaned, has been cleaned. So think about the sentence perfectly. The living room, okay? So this is an object, this is an object. That means that the sentence is passive, of course. And it's in the past, so it's past uh, passive. And huh, all yesterday morning, that means that it was progressing yesterday that mean it was continuing yesterday so which one is the suitable sentence here you know the active of this sentence the original sentence what was it it was i was cleaning the room all day morning i was cleaning the room or the living room all day uh, or, or all yesterday's morning so so when we turn it into passive, we will start with the object, the living room, the living room. Huh? Huh? What, what should we continue with? It's passive, it's a progressive and in the past. So we have here, uh, we said uh, uh, was being cleaned. The perfect. Window, and uh, Muhammad, yes, uh, how, Great number Muhammad. Three, yes, Muhammad. And uh, we are now also, yes. Uh, Anan, uh, nice, uh, nice. 
Zainab, Zainab has seen, no, no, it was. was it was. When, was. when we talk about simple past progressive passive, when we talk about passive, okay, in the past, and using, using the progressive uh, form, because it's all yesterday morning here, okay? How can we form a dear student? It's was or where, okay? Plus being, plus post participle. Was or where, okay? Plus being, plus post participle. So think about the sentence first. Yes, Miss Amani? Okay, we have here number six. So after the accident, after the accident, she had a on her right knee. Surgeon, surgery, rubber, robbery. Here is a cap here. After surgery, but, uh, she had a. We have. Uh, yes, Muhammad, you said the number P. Surgery, yes. Uh, surgery. <laughs> Wonderful, yes. Muhammad. Of uh, he have an operation on his knee and it's called surgery. Yes, Fredro. Fredo, yes, Fredo. It's okay. good. And, um, well done, Fredo. Perfect. Where uh, are you, Zinab? Be with us. Okay, yeah. number seven. Surgery, yes, Zinab. <laughs> Perfect, Zinab. Well done. Anna and also, yes. Thank you. Well done. Perfect. Great, great. Perfect. As yes. doctors, okay, number seven, as doctors, we are responsible for the care and space of our patients. So as doctors, we are responsible for the care and will building, will made, will being, or will known of the patient. Think about the word patient. And doctors, they are responsible for what, dear students? Huh? Can you guess? Uh, think carefully and be quick, please. Be fast. Yes, Zainab, well-being. Yes. Wonderful, Zainab. Uh, <laughs> Wonderful, dear baby. Perfect. Exactly. Yes, it's well-being. And we have uh, Anan. Anan, uh, great. Uh, and Muhammad. Yes, Anan. Fredo, Anan. where are you? Okay, well-being, it means the comfort of the patient or the luxury of them. So, well-being here means that they are responsible for the care and the comfort of our patients, okay? Okay, we have number eight here. Which of the following is used between sentences which are grammatically independent? Okay, we have here going to deal with punctuation. So, which of the following is used between sentences which are grammatically independent? It's uh, not depending on each other in grammar. Apostrophe, comma, or, I'm sorry, colon, comma, hyphen. Yes. Which one? When you are writing, and my sentence is uh, completed in grammar here, and the next sentence is completed in grammar, and uh, they have all dependent in each independent, so it will be. Ma, it will be what? Do you remember? What's mm -hmm. what's with between two completed uh, sentences uh, and the grammatically independent? It will be the. Don't know what answer. Huh? I'm waiting. Okay. It will be number uh, C, comma. It will be number C. Comma. So oh. you have you have to take care of this uh, part of the question, please. But we deal with the how to write and uh, where to put it. Very important, by the way, is writing. For uh, sure. So, uh, yes, we put the comma. Yes, Sana said comma. Yes, I know that. Great, Anan. Uh, You're uh, number one. It, yes. So, it depends on the internet, but well done, Anan. It's comma. Yes, between two sentences. Yes, yeah. Okay, number nine. And concentrate, please. Uh, we have um, a sentence here or a phrase, and uh, the question is after that. Uh, this physicist who broke all the stereotypes of the time is now a much admired role model for many aspiring female scientists. So this sentence, this could be a part of an article about, this sentence is a part of article about, about what? 
the inspiration of historic female figures, the difficulties male scientists face in their jobs, why it is necessary to be passionate about your job, why science is not an easy area to work in. So think about the sentence. You know who's the physicist? Who is he? This is the one who search about or study physics, of course. Okay. And those who broke stereotypes, you know, stereotypes, they are sura namatiya, okay? So they, they are passionate, they are creative, okay? So they are admired by many aspiring female scientists. So the article, the article that has this sentence is, is what, is about what? Huh? Do we have an answer? He said, uh, uh, Fredo here said uh, the inspiration of the perfect. Yeah, perfect. Yes, exactly, uh, exactly. Yeah. The inspiration of historic female figures. Well done, dear yeah. baby. Oh, well done, Zainab. Well done, Pedro. Yes, and Muhammad say number A. I'm sorry, I don't see you. Uh, right. Perfect. Yes, exactly. It's number A. Yes, okay. Miss Aman. Okay, well done. Number 10, a tool for digging that has a long hand and the broad metal that you push into the ground is a or n elevator organ paid printer of course printer we're going to drop it you know what is the printer the elevator it's uh, have another meaning it's a left and um uh, so you're going to drop this too we have here organ organ do you know what is organ Oh, it's clear. Yes, sir. we have number C, Mohammed. Yeah, well, then I've stayed. Yes, the Fredo. Perfect. Yes, sir. well done. Yes, sir. Well we done. have a strong and very furious competition here. Perfect. Yeah. And Anan with us also. Yes, very nice. Yes, okay, well done. Great. Okay, number 11. You should have a balanced view of what happened. The word balanced here can be replaced by what? The word balance, if we uh, took it or omit it and replace it with another word, shall it be unfair, fair, direct or indirect? So the balance here, balanced view, balanced view it means equal. You should have an equal point of view about something. OK, don't have bias to think uh, to other things. So balanced view, is it what? Uh, Zainab, you said fair. Perfect. Uh, well done, Zainab. You rock today. Yeah. Wonderful. Uh, well done. And Anna said fair. Yes. Uh, Perfect. Perfect. Great. Done. And Fredo also is, uh, is fair. Yes. Great, fair. Fredo. Fredo. All of I you. love your name, by the way. Yes, Miss Aman. Yes, of course. I'm uh, sorry. Grandma always gets her shopping done. Get her shopping done. Take care. The meaning here. This means that. Okay. Someone goes shopping with her. Someone does her shopping. She does the shopping. She goes shopping. Okay. It's a meaning here. Take care. Um, you see, we have here. Zainab said someone does her Great. shopping. Someone does hair shopping. Yes, this is the mean. Get someone done something for you. Yes. Yeah. And uh, Muhammad said it's number B. Yes, sir. it's the same answer. Well done, Muhammad. And um, perfect. I think uh, you got it. Yes, so it is someone does hair shopping. Okay, uh, number 13. Nothing can space the fact that the refugees are a big problem in the world. So, nothing can, can what? Alter, provide, damage, appreciate. Huh. Which one is the suitable word here, dear students? Nothing can speak the fact that the refugees, those who were taken out of their countries and stay um, and, um, um, in the countries, okay? They don't uh, have a, a real country. They don't have a country to live in. So these are the refugees. 
they uh, they sleep in tents and have a very bad conditions. So this is this is what no one or nothing can. Huh? We have uh, Muhammad here said uh, number A altar. Perfect, perfect altar exactly exactly. No one can deny this fact. No one can change this fact. Okay, so this is altar. Yes, this is the meaning of it. As you said, Ms. Wafa, deny it. Yes, no one can deny it. Okay, well done. Okay, uh, we have number 14 here. A device through which the sound is heard is a or a. Benter, Benter, speaker, writer. In a bit also, yes, well done, I know it. Well done. How about this one? Yes, so we have here device. So yes, the speaker then have well done. Fredo is also yes, well done. Fredo. Great also. Fredo. This is yes. first time you compete them. Perfect. Yes, it's a speaker. Yes, then have well done. Well done. Yes, speaker. And then also speaker. Well done, Muhammad. Yes, great. Good. Great. Well done. Okay, number fifteen. I'm sorry. I'll be late. Space a while. So I'm sorry I'll be late for a while, to a while, with a while, or at a while. So this is pretty easy for you. Huh? Ah, Anan, Fredo, Zainab, Muhammad. Yes. Uh, Fredo, uh, said Muhammad. Yes, said uh, number A. And uh, Fredo said uh, four, yes. Exactly. Uh, Zainab, exactly. four, yes. Uh, nice. Yes. You all uh, number one. Perfect. And then Fred or Muhammad and Zainab. Yes, well done. Four. She gave a cry of joy when she faced uh, the exam result. She gave a cry of joy. Happiness. Of course, inshallah, you will have uh, this uh, cry of joy. Uh, her has heard, was hearing, hers. Okay. Give when force would be using what? You remember? Sentence have to be in the past. So it is yes, Muhammad, it's uh, heard. Fredo, heard, yes. Yes, great. It's, it's simple past. No continuous, uh, no present perfect. Thank you, Muhammad. Of course. Well done. Okay, number 17. Which expressions can you not and concentrate here? Can you not use to start your final paragraph in any say? So when you have a question like this, okay, concentrate in the word not use to start and final paragraph, final paragraph. So which expression you cannot use to start your final paragraph in any say? Is it to sum up? Okay, you don't use to sum up in your final paragraph. In conclusion, to conclude, or firstly, so which one? Yes, Zainab had said firstly. Yes, we can Perfect. say at the end first. Well done, Zainab. Well yes. done. Nice. Yes, sir. And who else, sir, with us? Sir? And Anan and uh, Muhammad. Yes, well done. Well done, Fred, of course. Yes, sir. That's very nice. Yes, well done. But here we have number 18 here. When you have a problem, face a talk with a close person like your father. It's advisable, ready? It's not as well. Speak, say, have, tell. Speak it. A talk. What comes before a talk? Number, yes, Muhammad, we have Fredo, have Zainab, have. Great. And the number C, have. Yes, well done. And Anan, of course. Yes, well done. That's it. Yes, have a talk. Have a talk, yes, uh, with someone. Okay, number 19. Do you remember this question? We took it before. The news story about the match missed out the injured player. So they missed out. Okay, they didn't mention the injured player. So it was bias, bias with what? Bias with what? Is it a mission, placement, spin, or label? Huh. 
if you if you bring an, an essay or an story and information okay and you miss out you um, you omit some information you omit some information okay so this is biased by what biased by huh yes you remember we have Zainab omission great great also omission yes and then well done we do it now yes okay let's have a little information about uh, each one of them Omission, yes. we uh, already said it to you. It's to omit facts from the story, okay? So what about placement? Placement, dear students. It means to put this story ad, um, in the spot area or in the headline, the place where everyone can see it. You know, when we are talking about whatever, uh, say, El Ahli. El Ahli won the game, okay? So we put it in front of you as a headline. So this is placement, placement to put it in an important place so they can, everyone can see it. This is bias by placement. What about spin? Bias by spin, dear students. It's to make one side look better than the other one. Okay. And when the story reflects one side or exclude the other side. Let's say, for example, uh, if we have a match between Al Ahli and the Zamalek, okay? So, bias by spin is to mention everything about Al Ahli and Al Ahli players, Al Ahli match, Al Ahli uh, game, everything about a team, okay? And and exclude or neglect the other the other part or the other side. This is spin. What about label? Label bias by label. We have two parts or two um, types of it, okay? Either, either to give an extreme label when the other is not addressed. It means, um, give an example for it, if we have a match uh, between Al Ahli and Al Zamali. We say Al Ahli is a great team. Al Ahli players are so wonderful. Al Ahli captain is a wonderful man. You know this? It's extreme thing to one side and neglect the other one. Or the other type, the other type is to mention, okay, um, El Zamalik uh, was uh, good, El Zamalik is a good team, okay, but El Ahli is a super one. See, see this bias, okay? So this bias by labeling, okay? Bias by label to extreme uh, as a side, okay, and neglect or you give them um, low or very bad labeling for the other team. So this is a mission, placement, spin, and label. Hope you know the difference between the four of them. Yes, Miss Amani. Yes, um, thank you for this uh, explanation. Thank you. I hope you might know it. When you want to introduce an opposite opinion, when you are writing, you can say, I want to say opposite something for what I have said. What I'm going to begin with, or I start my sentence, that the care, opposite opinion. I have an opposite opinion. In the other hand, other hand, on the other hand, by the other hand, on one side. Okay, this is an expression. And uh, uh, here, yes, Zainab, well done. On the other hand. And Perfect. On number B, it's on uh, the other hand. And they do also on the other hand. Yes, uh, this, that means that you are a good writer, by the way. When you're going writing to both something, you say on the other hand and uh, you say what is opposite to it. Yes, on the other hand. And of course, I mean, uh, is the answering. Uh, <laughs> other hand, Anan, yes. Okay, uh, 21. Egypt enters teams into many different international okay international what rounds course grand slams or tournaments so egypt teams they are okay competing in different international international what you know rounds rounds it's in one competition okay to have one round two rounds three rounds okay court court it's where lawyers and the criminals, okay, and judge. We have uh, all these in courts. 
What about the grand slams? You know grand slams? Okay, when you win all the four major tournaments in tennis. Tennis has four, four, okay, great competition. If you won all those four competitions or tournaments, it's called the Grand Slams. So what about tournaments? Tournaments is, is what? Huh? I'm not giving you the answer. Give me. Do we have an answer, Miss Amani? Tell my students, I'll figure it out. Yes, we have Bardina. Well, thank you, Alfredo. Yes, and Muhammad. They say tournaments. Perfect. Yes, exactly. That, that competition, exactly. big competitions. Yes, international exactly. one. Yes. Yes. Well done. Perfect. And of course, Hanan is there with us, but uh, and it is very slow sometimes. Yes. Well done. Okay. When writing a formal report, you are going to have a formal report. Okay. You should use them. contractions. Nation marks, a pencil, passive form, formal. What kind of say use in formal report? We have um, Hamase number A. Are you sure? Construction. Are you sure? No. Now think about it. Exclamation mark, I'm going to use exclamation mark or contraction that means uh, working the apostrophe or uh, using the uh, contraction of the word is not completed. Or a pencil, of course, I have to drop a pencil here when I'm writing. Uh, uh, or I'm going to be passive for to say uh, it has been informed, uh, it has been done. It, uh, you see, I, I'm writing the report, it has been. Uh, uh, done on this way, it has been written, yes, uh, rid of uh, passive forms and then up uh, passive forms, yes. Sections here, that means I'm going to put it uh, I'll, uh, his name is, uh, yes, uh, this is what we call it, contraction, make it short. But here when writing a report, a formal one, I say, uh, the, the, oh, let me see, the, the checking up uh, uh, had been done uh, perfectly. You see, I use the passive form according to it. Is it the past or present? But in the passive, something happened, had happened by someone. Of course, it's a passive form. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, number 23. Although concentrate in the sentence, okay? Although we are surrounded by this mass produced device, this doesn't mean that their use should be implemented in the future. So this sentence, this could be a part of an essay about, about what? Technology, equality, mobile phones or films? Huh. Of course not equality or films, so we have technology or mobile phones. So, which one to choose? As you see, we reduce it there. We say um, we have uh, Fredo say technology. Muhammad. Oh, concentrate. Uh, yes, read it again, please, uh, because it's uh, huh? that's why this was a little but the the obvious one, equality, equality and film so out. But technology and mobile phones take care. Doesn't mean the same. Okay, concentrate on the sentences we have here. Okay, mass produced device. Okay, so this is a device. What is the device here? Yes, then a mobile phone. Yes, exactly. Perfect, perfect. Mobile phones. Wonderful, Zainab. Of course, here. Yeah. Uh, 24. Which of the following are correctly structured? Correctly structured. Sit here. Uh, by uh, next year, I will buy a new car. Check here. By next year, I will have been bought a new car. Let's see if you will get this one and this is the last one. Uh, by the next year, I should have bought a new, uh, a new car. By next year, I would have bought a new car. Uh, take care, following the instruction. Yes. 
Now, uh, let's see which one could be. Take care. By the next year, I will buy a new car. By the next year, I will have been bought. So it is. I have to omit this number. So of course, it's in the, can be in the passive form. Uh, that's uh, I. The start with I. By the next year, I should have bought. I should have bought. Make it. I should. I should. Uh, so will be number D, Muhammad, Noura. Uh, yes, Muhammad, yes, well done. By the next year, I will... Number D, Muhammad, yes, it's number D. I, I will have bought, uh, have bought a new car, yes. That's mean in the near future. Yes, Muhammad, well done. And here I see Muhammad. Okay. okay. Yes. 25. The car broke down and... I couldn't put my finger on the cause. This means that, okay, so my car is broke down and I couldn't put my, the word here, okay, couldn't put my finger on the cause. This sentence or this phrase means, means that I, I what? Couldn't ask someone why the car had broken down? Couldn't know the reason why the car had broken down? Couldn't touch the car engine, couldn't reach the car engine. So, put my finger on the cause. Put the, my finger on the cause. This means, means what, dear students? I, I didn't know the cause, the reason for this broke down. Okay, why is this damage is happening? So, put my finger on the cause. It means that I don't know the reason. Okay, I can find the reason for it. So, yes. which one? Here, yes, sir. Said number P, Muhammad. Yes. Perfect, Muhammad. Well I done. couldn't know the reason why the car had yes. Great, great. I mean, so, remember down. this because it's pretty important for you. Okay. Yes, Annie? I'm going to complete here. 26. I can't hear you, please. Place your voice. Arise. Arose. Raise, rise. Yes, yeah. Have been a piece of raise, yes. It's been a raise number three, yes. Raise your voice. Good. Hold it up. Yes, and the Muhammad. Yes, Muhammad. And Nice, Muhammad. Yes, welcome, welcome, yes. And, uh, and then where are you? Okay. Okay, 27. You space your father yesterday. The problem was too serious for you to solve again. Okay, so you should consult. It's yesterday, okay? Uh, should have consulted. Didn't have to consult. Shouldn't have consulted. Okay, um, this way or this type of uh, sentences, we taught you this before, dear students. You remember when you regret something in the past? How can we express it? We studied before, okay? We use, we use should have plus BB. Should have plus BB to regret something in the past, something that happened. So we, when we regret something, we use should have plus BB. Okay, so the suitable one here is Muhammad said number B should have consulted. Muhammad. Yes. Exactly, exactly. You should have consulted your father yesterday. The problem was too serious. So I'm regretting for not consulting him. Okay. Zainab also the same answer. Well done, Zainab. Well done. Great, Zainab. And I think, uh, where is uh, this? Hanan, where are you? You disappeared, my baby. We have it here. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, we have here. You can't uh, rely on this information. It is uh, can't rely on. Yes. What? Reliable. Accurate. Accurate. Inaccurate. Hmm. You can't rely. So it is. Uh, Yes, 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 it's uh, the last one I have, uh, you should have uh, consulted, yes, about this one, and this student, he said here, Muhammad said, uh, yes, Muhammad, uh, Zainab, inaccurate, and Muhammad number D, inaccurate, Perfect. yes, Perfect. it's not uh, correct, it's not 
So the competition here is between Muhammad and Zainab. Where yes. is Fredo and, and yes, uh, Anan? We have Fredo and Anan also. And great, great. Yes, I have okay, let's see 29. Okay. Once I space making this cake, I'll give you some to taste. So once, do you remember this? We took it before. Once I what? Will finish? Had finished? Have finished? Will be finishing? Okay, do you remember when we have once or when or, huh? Can you remember? Or after? If we had once or after when in a clause, okay, we use, huh, we use what? Either the present simple or the present perfect. Okay, so in the first part, in the first part, I'm talking about this, dear students. In the first part of this sentence, either we use the present simple, okay, or the present perfect. And the other part will be in the future, as you can see. So once I will finish, is this correct? Had finished or have finished or will be finishing. So. Huh. Do we have an answer, Ms. Amani? Okay. okay. I have Zainab here said to have finished. Yeah. Perfect, Zainab. Perfect. Yes, Exactly, exactly. So we can say once I have finished making this cake or once I finish making this cake. Okay, either one of them, once I finish or have finished making this cake, I'll give you some to taste. Okay. Okay. Now we have here, uh, we have number 30. Uh, I like to go to work on time. I usually space early to avoid traffic. What early? Let me see. Uh, um, sit down, turn off, catch up, catch up, I'm sorry, sit off. Yes, this Fredo is half finished. Yes, so we have now one sitting one. I know it's problem to be late because I know you are good all of you the best yes they never have money we have here then a catch up now what do you think I go to work on time I'm punctual that's very nice to be punctual but I usually early to avoid traffic sit down of course not sit down turn on turn on a device Catch up, catch up, uh, catch up with uh, something or uh, doing else. Uh, catch up or hurry with someone. No, no, it's not catch up. We have uh, here, yes, Muhammad, it's not catch up. Not catch up. It's uh, think again, Muhammad. Yes, come on, uh, Muhammad, Fred, and Zena, please. I think uh, catch up something, catch up with the past, catch up uh, with the. Uh, my friends uh, to be uh, with them but uh, i usually early avoid the traffic see we have a word here and this is very obvious for us we have the word oh fredo so you are depending catch up my dear student here dear that i'm catching the bus i usually catch up early no i ca i usually catch up the bus so i hurry to catch up i catch up with my friends so i I with with them in the same rank, or I catch up uh, Ahmed. That he was uh, in front of me, and I ran to catch up with, with to see uh, to walk with him. But to uh, divide or start means set up. Start at the beginning. That means I have to start early to avoid traffic. It means set up. Set up uh, equals yes, Fredo. Well done. You correct yourself. Set up. Well done. Well done. Okay, now to the next part, which is reading. Okay, it's a comprehension. So we will give you um, about five seconds to read this uh, wonderful comprehension. And after that, we will answer the question together. Okay, so read it perfectly. 
Okay, hope you read it. Okay, let's start with the questions, dear students. Story one. The general idea of the text is the possibility of working from home was discovered as a result of the pandemic. Most people only find positive things about working from home. There are advantages and disadvantages to working from home. Working at home allows you to eat your favorite meal. So, if you read it perfectly, you will see, okay, huh? he is telling you about the good things uh, you earn from working at home and the bad things that you will have if you work at home. So, this is the general idea. So, which number? Do we have an answer, Ms. Amani? Starting here, someone. Um, we have. Um, said, uh, it's one. The possibility of working from home was uh, discovered as a result of that. But yes, he, he mentioned that, but he mentioned something else. So, take care here. He mentioned the good things and the bad things. That part, yeah, of course, it will be when I sign. Yes, it will be number C, Freddie. Exactly. Yes, sir. Exactly. exactly. So the general idea here, dear student, means to think about the whole passage. The whole passage here is talking about what? Of course, not, not part of it. This sentence is part of it, okay? And the other sentence is part of uh, this passage. But the whole passage is talking about two things. Advantages, as you can see, and also some disadvantages. So this passage is talking, uh, talking about advantages and disadvantages of working from home. So concentrate, please. Yes, we have Fredon Zainab and uh, Fredo, yes, well done. Thank you. Uh, the next one, which of the following has the correct ending punctuation? See, I got it. We got it. Uh, uh, it's uh, from the passage. What a wonderful journey. What a wonderful journey. Question mark and the a poster by the beginning. What a wonderful journey! A wonderful journey, and there is a semicolon. And the number C it was the exclamation mark. What do you think here? When I express it about something, the one that I've done something, yes, she said that. Yes, then I'm number C. What a wonderful yes. journey! Yes, it's an exclamation mark. Yes. Wow, yes, yes, very much. Yes, yes. She put an exclamation mark. Yes, thank you. Well done. <laughs> okay, uh, um, number th uh, 33. Which one is not an advantage of working from home mentioned in the text? So it's not an advantage, not an advantage of working from home mentioned in the text. So which one? Is it more time with family? So it's not an advantage that was mentioned in the text. Higher level of productivity, more time to work or increased feeling of well-being. Huh, can you guess? Okay, it's not an advantage of working from home that mentioned in the text. Okay, it was not an advantage that mentioned in the text. So more time with family. Huh. Is it right? It was mentioned in the text. Higher level of productivity. It was mentioned in the text. Huh. More time to work. So, is this right? Or the last one? Huh? Also, also it was mentioned in the text. More time to work. So the one, the one advantage that wasn't mentioned in the text increased feeling of well-being. Okay. That wasn't, this is an advantage that wasn't mentioned, okay, in the text, okay? I know that we gave you a little time to read the text. Then I write it first, and she corrected, say, sorry, it's wrong, yes, it's number, uh, number It's three. okay. I know if we gave you um, more time, you would answer it um, in a better way. Thank no. you, dear. Okay. Yes, which uh, one is not disadvantage? Disadvantage. Now it's not disadvantage, but it's clear. 
walking from home mentioned and the text again. Something mentioned, but not this uh, part. Uh, a headache due to lots of screen time. Um, say that, uh, yes. Uh, less social contact with colleagues. Disadvantage, as mentioned, increased mental health problem, um, uh, could be a higher cost of bills. What do you think about it? Okay. Is not this, uh, I think we didn't talk about something here. I of course of those. He talk about it. Take care. He talk about it. I say not mention. Take care. Not mention. He talk about uh, higher cost of those. We still don't talk about it. Then uh, yes, I'm sorry, I don't see it. The letter A. A headache exactly. through a lot of screen time. Yes. Uh, he exactly. didn't mention it. Yes. This not is not uh, mentioned. I'm sorry, I don't know. Yes. Thank you. Well done. And uh, the rest. Uh, yes, of course. Have okay, uh, number 35, the text says that the global pandemic increased internet use by nearly 50%. So, people suffered mental health problem at home as workers were encouraged to work from home. Uh, of offices closed as a result to continue working in the office. So this was mentioned in the text exactly. Okay, the, um, um, the continue of this sentence was mentioned in the text. Huh. Okay, uh, when you see the form, inshallah, you will read the text and you will find it. It's, it's letter B, as workers were encouraged to work from home. Okay. Okay, it's number B. Okay. Uh, 36, uh, the uh, text say that the employees who had to work from home during the pandemic said, what they said, something they said, it's in the passage also, uh, they frequently ate too much, they enjoyed seeing their families more, they liked being able to work in informal uh, clothes, uh, they frequently working a higher number of hours. You were going to be what? Uh, of course, it will be a number. They feel frequently working a okay. higher number of hours. They are frequently working um, a number. This is the last. Okay, 37, uh, we have to run. Okay, which expression in the text means very important? And if not mentioned in the text, you can guess it by your own dear students. Very important. Is it take into account, play a vital role, significant advantage need to be remembered. So it was mentioned in the text. Very important. So very important means? Huh? Okay, uh, I have to answer uh, really quickly. Uh, play a vital role. Play a vital role. Okay, it means very important. So uh, the next part here is translation. Okay, go ahead, Miss Amani. Yes, we have here going to do the translation quickly because the time. تم وزارة التربية والتعليم بتنمية مهارات الطلاب وتعزيز روح الابتكار لديهم ليكونوا قادرين على مواكبة التقدم العلمي. في أنحاء العالم ويساهمون في مشروعات التنمية في بلده. We go quickly a Ministry of Education is interested in developing student innovation. Um, I think it's going to be uh, the number D. Let me see here. Read number D. Yes, the Ministry yes, of Education. Exactly. The skills, no skills. Let me see number D here. I'm going to read the Ministry of Education is interested in developing student skills and enhancing, yes, Taziz, you know, their spirits of innovation that they can keep pace with the scientists or base, I'm sorry, base with scientific workers all over the world and contributed to develop plans in their country. Yes, so it is completely acquired number D, the last one. 
يس مش وفاء اوكي لا تشغل نفسك بانتقاد الاخرين بدون موضوعيه كن ايجابيا واعمل بجد وتقبل الاخر فلا احد بلا عيوب والمهم ان نتعلم من اخطائنا so the correct translation for it as we used to we will exclude the wrong ones let's see the first one don't concern yourself with criticizing others with objectivity okay with objectivity بدون موضوعيه so this is wrong okay let's see it together okay don't concern yourself with attacking attacking other is this correct انتقاد attack so this is wrong too number three don't concern yourself with criticizing others without creativity موضوعيه creativity so this is wrong too So we will have the last one. Of course, it will be the correct one. Don't concern yourself with criticizing others without objectivity. Be positive, work hard, and accept the other. Uh, the other, okay. No one is without flaws, and the important thing is for us to learn from our mistakes. So this is what the end for us. Inshallah, we will see you next week. Tomorrow is a holiday for all of our Christian uh, uh, fellows here. So uh, hope you wonderful days. Inshallah, a happy feast, and see you next week. Inshallah, on Wednesday. Yes, Miss Amani. Yes, uh, see you. Inshallah, next time, and I hope you all the best and best feast uh, and holidays for all of us uh, in Egypt. Thank you. Goodbye.